In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make Contact Form 7 send email to different people based on user input on the form. This can be done via drop downs, checklists, radio buttons, and the user on the front end doesn't have to know. It can be totally secret to them, but the email is then routed to specific people in your company based on what the user chose. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress, and you like WordPress tips and tricks and how to make it work even better for you and your clients, then click subscribe because I publish lots of stuff to make your WordPress experience more awesome. Also click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Now click on this card that appeared and register for the Brute Force Eliminator webinar where I show you how to protect my websites and my client websites using three simple tactics that I apply to all my websites to keep Brute Force hackers out for good. After you do that, come back to this tutorial. Let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is edit our form or create a new form with this functionality. I'm just going to find an existing form on the site here, basic form one, and I'll edit that one. And at the bottom of the form before the send button, you can add this anywhere you want. I'm going to do it right before the send button. It's going to copy a label and say, who do you want to send to? Delete the shortcode over the text area. I'm going to add a drop down, but this also works with checkboxes and radio buttons. I prefer drop downs because they're cleaner. So we're going to use the drop down. I'm going to call this recipient and make it a required field. The options, I'm going to say CEO, HR, accounting, the janitor, maybe they like getting emails. You put up whatever options you want in here. You wouldn't put the email addresses because those would appear on the live site, which leaves you open for spam. So you don't want to do that. You want to put those options in there like this, click on insert tag. And then once they're in here, or even in the tag editor just a moment ago, we add a pipe character after each option and add an email address. So after CEO, I'm going to put Bjorn at launchtimemedia.com. After HR, I'm going to put one of my old spam email addresses. I say spam email because that's all that I receive at that address. For accounting, I'm just going to make some fake emails. You'll get the point after sending two of these messages. So we have two fake emails and we have Bjorn Launch Time Media for the CEO and HR is simplesequence at gmail.com. Click on save to save the work you've done so far and then go to the mail tab and now we have the recipient short code here copy it paste it into the to field now what's going to happen is if we head back to the form in the drop down whatever's before the pipe character in this case ceo hr accounting and janitor those will appear in the drop down on the mail tab when we add the recipient short code everything after the pipe character will appear in the to field, which is the email address. And that's how that works. Click on save. Now we're going to create a new page and add the short code to that page. I'm going to copy the short code, create a new page. I'm going to call this best form ever and then publish it. And I'm going to head out to the front end Take a look at what we have here. And it's a beauty. At the bottom, we have our drop down with our options CEO, HR, accounting, and janitor. And you notice the email addresses are not there. If somebody wants to view the source, they can still find the email, but they can't find it on the drop down itself. So let's test this out. Let's put in my name and then put in an email address. Let's just make this Bjorn at WP Learning Lab. Dot com testing to CEO. Now this will hopefully be sent to Bjorn at launch time media. And I'm going to do this again. Just going to reload this page. Sometimes when you send too often in a row, the form stops sending because from the same IP, too many emails looks like a spammer. So let's try this with a different name. Actually call it Jane. I'll call this person Jane. Jane test.com testing to HR. And that should go to the simple sequence address. Select HR from the dropdown, click on send. And now we just wait for the emails to arrive. I have my inboxes open. 
we can start looking around. Actually, under updates, there's one called Bjorn here, which might be me. And it is from that website. And it is the message sent to the CEO at the address Bjorn at Launchtime Media. So that drop down option worked. Head over to Simple Sequence. Got a message from Jane already. And Jane, of course, was being sent to HR, which was simplesequence at gmail.com. So now we've shown that these first two options work. The other two don't have a real email address, but you can add as many options there as you want. And like I said, this also works for checkboxes and radio buttons. So that's all there is to it. I hope you got a lot of value from this tutorial. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Also, click the card that just popped up, register for the Brute Force Eliminator webinar, where I show you three tactics that I apply to all my sites and client sites to keep brute force hackers out for good. And after that, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.